Here's hoping you'll never have to. But just in case, let's talk about changing a flat tire. The jack and lug wrench are located in the rear storage compartment. To remove the spare tire from the carrier, remove the tire cover if equipped, and remove the lug nuts with the lug wrench by turning them counterclockwise. Now, you can loosen, but do not remove the wheel lug nuts by turning them to the left one turn while the wheel is still on the ground. Make sure you're parked on a firm, level surface safely away from traffic. Avoid ice or slippery areas. Make sure the ignition is off, the hazard lights are on, and the parking brake is fully set. Blocking both the front and rear of the wheel diagonally opposite of the jacking position is also a good idea. If changing the right front tire, block the left rear tire. You'll need to assemble the jack and jacking tools by connecting the jack handle driver to the extension, then to the lug wrench. Carefully place the jack under the front or rear axle tube as shown. Do not raise the vehicle until you are sure the jack is fully engaged. Now, you are ready to raise the vehicle by turning the jack screw to the right. Raise the vehicle only until the tire just clears the surface and enough clearance is obtained to install the spare tire. Remember, minimum tire lift provides maximum stability. Okay, now go ahead and remove the lug nuts and wheel. Position the spare tire on the vehicle with the valve stem facing out. The vehicle could be damaged if the spare tire is mounted incorrectly. Reinstall the lug nuts with the cone-shaped end toward the wheel. Lightly tighten the lug nuts clockwise. Now, you can lower the vehicle by turning the jack screw to the left and remove the jack. Once on the ground, you can finish tightening the lug nuts. Alternate lug nuts until each lug nut has been tightened twice. Maximum effort should be used for final tightening of the lug nuts. It's always a good idea to have the tightness checked with a torque wrench by your authorized dealer or at a service station. Now, just secure the tire, jack, and tools in their proper locations, and you're ready to go. Please refer to the instruction manuals on the Owner's Information DVD or jeep.com owners for complete details and other important safety information.